You've no doubt noticed the price of your food shop has gone up recently or seen empty trays in your supermarket. And food shortages in the UK could last until May. So is this a sign you need to eat less tomatoes? No. This is a signal coming directly from our planet of what's to come. This is a sign of climate flation. So what is climate flation and what can we do about it together? Well, climate flation is when our prices go up because of the effects of climate change. Want an example? Just look at Spain, producer of almost half the world's olive oil. Severe droughts meant it produced only half as much as normal last year, driving the price up by as much as 25%. Thank you very much. Think on that for a second. Our food prices will keep on going up because of our deadly dependence on fossil fuels. So why is climate inflation happening? It's because right now, our whole financial system is geared towards feeding the fossil fuel system. So how do we change this? Well, we reroute our whole system to one that supports sustainable energy and jobs instead. And how do we do this? Well, we go directly to the rule makers for banks and financial firms and demand that they redirect financial flows. In the UK's case, this is the Chancellor and the people in this building behind me, the Bank of England. Because they're accountable to us, the public. And when enough of us make noise, they have no choice but to listen. And how do we know this? Because back in 2021, thousands of us told the Chancellor to make the protection of our planet one of the Bank of England's legal responsibilities. And we won. People Power made that happen. And People Power can end climate inflation too. Follow the link and sign our letter to Chancellor Jeremy Hunt telling him that climate inflation is real and we want him to put a stop to it. A single voice can be ignored, but when we all shout together, they have to listen. And that's how we'll end climate inflation.